Wendy has always been rude. I don't know why y'all are surprised that she comes for people. Like, this is exactly why she is famous, because she is a rude old lady. She is famous for being a rude old lady. Even before she was old, she was just a rude lady. She stayed coming for people. That is why she is famous. So Wendy Williams is in the news right now for three reasons. One, she came for the gays. Two, she came for white king wa queen ja king ja kim phoenix and three she made a tasteless joke about a woman's murder all right let's start with the gays so on a show last week she asked the audience if anybody was celebrating galentine's day which is valentine's day for gals so a lot of people started clapping including men and that's when she yelled out to the audience like if you're a man stop clapping because you can't participate in this holiday this is for women then she started going in and told the men that they may be gay but they will never be a woman they will never have a menses and there's a lot of stuff that they can do but ultimately you ninjas are not women <laughs> then she doubled down and she's like also stop wearing our skirts and heels <laughs> thank you all right take a look at the clip and then we'll discuss it a little further of course, Twitter went crazy. Let's see what some of the people said. Okay, this guy said, Wendy Williams, you are a disgrace. Your tacky ass can go straight to hell. Attack the transgender community and you attack people other people love. Everyone thought you were a man. Is this your revenge? Hateful hag. This lady said, whoa, did Wendy Williams just say gay men need to stop wearing skirts and heels? Crazy because a lot of gay men and trans men support her because she looks like them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a straight woman and I was offended. Some shit you should just keep to yourself. The Daily Mail is also so messy. So they published an article after this whole thing spilled over. Here's what it says. Wendy Williams is branded homophobic as she faces backlash for saying gay men should stop wearing our skirts and heels. The 55-year-old television faced tons of backlash on Twitter after she told men to stop wearing skirts and heels. So was that a typo or are they saying that Wendy Williams is built like a television? <laughs> Do y'all think that Wendy Williams looks like a man or is built like a television? I don't know. I feel like she's built like a capital P for sure. I don't think she looks like a man per se. I think she looks like one of those creatures from um, <laughs> from uh, Pan's Labyrinth. <laughs> like that weird goat person. <laughs> What do y'all think? Who do y'all think Wendy Williams looks like? Oh, you know what? I forgot that this guy went in on her the other day after she said something about the Kansas City Chiefs. He said, Wendy Williams, shut your badly built body ass up. Talk about Kansas shitty long back ass. <laughs> that hoe built like a flashlight ugly ass. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I love Twitter. Twitter is too funny. Oh, wow. So anyway, people, uh, yeah, did not take too kindly about the things that Wendy said about the Chiefs or that she said about gays wearing skirts and heels. Okay, so the next story that she's under fire for is the one about, I think his name is Joaquin is how you pronounce it, Joaquin Phoenix. But you know what? I'm going to just call him Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix, she was, um, she was talking about, um, I think his Oscars perform, not performance, I'm sorry, his Oscar speech or something like that, which carried on into her talking about how she's weirdly attracted to him when he has a beard, but once he shaves his face, you can see that he has like a, a minor cleft palate. So this idiot decided to mock him and pull her upper lip up. <laughs> <laughs> to mimic what I guess a cleft palate is supposed to look like and then she just held it there for like several seconds she just looks like a complete and utter idiot so people went in on her about that too so here are some of the tweets that people posted by the way by the way I think I've shared this with you before. Have I shared this with him before? I find him oddly attractive. Yes, I think so. Uh huh. He played that Johnny Cash. It wasn't. Yes. It wasn't Reese who kept me. It was him. <laughs> okay. This right here. I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I don't know anything about this Joker. But um, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Suzanne. He's hot John, in the Johnny Cash movie. He was right? hot. Yes. And and he knows how to transform. Like when he shaves that off, but the way he looks at you. Yes. Those piercing uh -huh. eyes. Right. Those crazy piercing And, and he's got that good nose. It dips way down. Like he's happy with it. So, so am I. 
And when he shaves off his mustache, he's got a hairline yeah. fracture. He's got one of those, um, what do you call it? Cleft lip, yep. cleft palate. Yep. He's, he's got yep. this, yep. he's got this. Uh -huh. No, I find it to be, I find it to be very attractive. <laughs> Anyway, but back to you, Bachelor. Yeah, what a dumb dumb. So some good did come out of this. She is going to, um, she has committed to donate to Operation Smile and America, I think it's called AmeriCleft or AmeriCleft Palette. So at least somebody will get some benefit out of her being a fool. All right. And the last story is she made a tasteless joke about this woman that was murdered by her boyfriend or husband or something like that. He, or I'm sorry, she was the ex of Drew Carey, who used to host, uh, I think it was The Price is Right. So Wendy, while she was discussing the story and giving her audience like the background, she decided to make a joke about, um, come on down. And the woman was killed by the man pushing her off a three-story balcony. And at first I didn't, I didn't really think that she was making a joke about it. I thought that she was just describing Drew Carey's previous job, but then I went back and I watched it and I'm like, damn, this woman is freaking crazy. And you know what? I think it is, you know, allegedly Wendy had been getting her ass whooped for years. So she probably is just so immune to domestic violence that she didn't care about making the joke. And that's just what I think of it. You can watch the clip and decide for yourself. So that's it for me today. You guys tell me what you think in the comments. Does Wendy look like a man or a creature of <laughs> some sort? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me what you think of these stories uh, please comment like subscribe share the whole nine and i will see you guys in the next one bye